Attention, Rameshwaram blast accused Abdul Mateen Taha and Musavir Hussain Shahzeb have been remanded to 10-day NIA custody by a special court in Bengaluru. This after the NIA nabbed them from Bengal's East Mednipur. As NIA continues to question the accused, Times now has accessed exclusive details of the central agency's probe. Top sources have told your channel that NIA is drilling the two about where they learned to make IDs and how their entire operation was financed. Sources have also revealed that the accused were given instruction on the blast by a person identified as Colonel. Central agencies are yet to identify the man behind this monitor. According to sources, the accused met the Colonel online and that the Colonel's name has also been linked to other cases including the Shiv Moga blast case. Times now has access the pictures of the fake Aadhaar cards these terror suspects used to evade arrest. The masterminds of the blast used Hindu names and fake identities when they were hiding in Kolkata. We have exclusive CCTV footage of the accused staying at a hotel in uh, uh, Kidarpur of West Bengal. Accused stayed at a hotel between uh, March 21st and March 22nd and did not provide ID proof while booking the room. Sources also suggest that they did not pay the room tariff before leaving. Times now's Pooja Mehta reached the hotel where the accused was staying. Here's a report. Times now has reached the hotel in Kolkata where the two accused of the Rameshwaram cafe blast accused had been staying. We are at Hotel Paradise in Kolkata and here is a register which shows that the two accused were staying here under fake identities. Yusha Shahnawaz and Anmol Kulkarni. But what is most uh, remarkable is that one can see someone had written Vignesh. That Vignesh was stricken off and then Anmol Kulkarni was written. The investigators tell us that they were staying in different locations with also the fake identity of Vignesh and one can see that uh, they were living here as tourists that come from Darjeeling and were leaving for Chennai is what they had mentioned here. They had given fake identity proofs here and they had uh, come here at this hotel paradise in Kolkata on 13th March and they left on 14th March. So the question clearly is that how come the local police had no idea when they were going around the city of Kolkata and different parts of West Bengal but there were no inputs of the two prime accused. Another CCTV has also been accessed by Times Now where the accused can be seen walking into the hotel wearing a cap and a backpack. The video also shows the accused paying in cash at the reception counter. Karnataka Chief Minister Sidharamaya thanked NIA and the state police for tracing and arresting the accused. In fact, Home Minister of Karnataka G. Parmeshwara added that the cafe blast accused may be involved in the Shivmoga blast case and that they may have escaped three, four years ago. So, I thank NIA and also uh, the Karnataka police people. They are uh, able to trace the accused person and arrested them in Kolkata. Um, NIA has done a wonderful job. And our police, Karnataka police, has done a wonderful job. They bo both of them hail from Karnataka. Uh, they studied together, I was told. Uh, they are from Tirtha, Chikmangalur, uh, sorry, Shumoga district. We'll find out whether they have uh, any links with the other uh, agencies. Um, we don't know at this point of time. We'll find out because uh, these two, uh, they were supposed to have been involved in the earlier uh, Shimogga blast and uh, they were uh, uh, you know running away uh, they had escaped uh, for almost three to four years with that we're taking a short break uh, stay with times now